said, we'll have questions coming up for TJ Finley. Uh, we'll start with Garland Gillen. Hey, TJ, uh, Garland Gillen here, Fox 8 New Orleans. Um, any nerves going into this game? Were you relaxed, uh, calm? How, how did you uh, enter this contest? Um, I entered this contest really relaxed. Um, you know, my quarterback crew did an amazing job supporting me throughout the week. Um, Coach Steve Enzeminger was amazing and, you know, prepping me for this game. A lot of, uh, prep a lot of preparation went, to went into this game. Um, Coach Russ Calloway did an amazing job preparing me for the blitzes, the pressures, and things of that nature. So um, I would say I didn't ha have many uh, pregame jitters, but um, if I did, it was very quick. See, David, I unmute you. Are you on, David? All right, uh, let's we'll move down. Okay. Bill, do you want me to do a follow up since I'm unmuted still? <laughs> Okay, go ahead, Carl. Okay, what you, what you figured out. Hey, TJ, when you uh, signed with LSU in December, uh, did you realize it was going to be this quick that you were going to be the starting quarterback for LSU only, uh, you know, way back in December? I mean, it was a short period ago. Um, no, I never thought about it. Um, you know, I, I just focused on, you know, preparing every week like I was going to be the starter. Um, you know, competing with Miles in practice to make him better. He made me better. Um, you know, like I said, every quarterback in the quarterback room is, is has the ability to go in the game and, and win the game. Uh, you know, so, you know, it was just, you know, me thinking about, you know, us as a group, you know, us as a group supported each other. Uh, when Max went in the game, I was on the sideline just as hype as everybody else as he was when I went in. So uh, it, it was a, a group effort. Uh, hey, TJ, this is uh, Shea Dixon. Am I up? Yeah. Okay. Hey, TJ, this is uh, Shea with 24-7. Um, what did kind of two things? O said that with your weight loss and just training, the work you put in this offseason, that you moved so much better than, than you ever had in high school on film. And, and then a lot of people have just said, hey, look, whenever you get from Ponchatoula to LSU, it's going to be a, you know, a ton of playmakers around you. How different did it feel playing quarterback for this offense tonight? Um, it felt amazing. Uh, you know, like you mentioned, uh, first, uh, my weight loss is a, is a huge aspect in this um, success I'm having right now. Um, like everybody said, I, I came into LSU, um, it's an embarrassing number, but oh well, like 265, um, you know, I, I, I was huge. Um, you know, a lot of the guys messed with me and said I would move to D-tackle, so I kind of took that to heart, uh, you know, so when quarantine hit, uh, you know, COVID hit and, and we went into quarantine, I took it upon myself to you know, trim down in, in weight, and um, it, it's paying off well. Um, you know, like you mentioned, uh, we have a lot of playmakers on this team, um, and honestly, I don't feel a different uh, a difference in when I played at Pontchartula High. Uh, you know, of course, I got guys I could throw the ball to, and they'll go make a play whenever. But you know, like the speed of the game, you know, hasn't changed. Um, you know, I'm just taking taking it game by game, and and the preparation that the coaches are putting me through is helping tremendously. Hey, TJ, I know it's uh, kind of early to reflect on this kind of game, but you've done what only, you know, a handful of other quarterbacks have done at LSU to win as a true freshman in a time where they've, you know, you all have a couple of tough losses and needed a win. How do you feel about, you know, your moment and kind of starting your legacy in this way? Um, honestly, I don't look at it that way. Um, you know, obviously this is a big win for LSU and uh, for this team. Um, honestly, I'm focused on Auburn. Uh, I'm going to get in the film room and, and get in the training room, get my body healthy. Um, you know, if Miles isn't able to play next week, then I'll be ready for next week. Well, I, how about put it in this way? The, where, where do you feel this team is and its identity now from what it was a week ago? Okay, yes. Um, I feel like we have our, our swagger back. Um, you know, I felt like last year um, the guys, you know, played together. The offense and defense, they fueled each other. Um, like Coach O always says, big plays fuel emotion. Uh, offense, we had big plays, uh, explosive runs, explosive passes. Defense had explosive stops. 
um, you know, interception pick six right before the half, uh, things like that. You know, I, I feel like uh, we came together today. Um, you know, the last three games, even versus Vanderbilt, I felt like the team was separated. Uh, you know, you know, I, I really didn't know why, um, but I feel like we just came together today. Coach O preached uh, when we figured out that we weren't going to play Florida, that we're going to play South Carolina uh, last um, Wednesday afternoon. Um, you know, he just preached to us that we'll win as long as we stay together. As long as we stay together, we'll have success. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, TJ. Uh, Preston with TigerBait.com. I was just going to ask, uh, how much more prepared were you with two weeks to get to this game versus how you would have been prepared against Missouri? Can you repeat the question? I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Uh, so you had an extra week to prepare for this game. How much more prepared were you and ready to play today versus where you would have been before you got all the reps uh, over the last couple of weeks if you had had to play, say, against Missouri? Oh, yes, sir. Um, I felt I felt good. Uh, you know, I felt like, like I said, like I mentioned earlier, the two days that we had extra, um, knowing that we didn't, and that we weren't going to uh, play Florida because of COVID, um, the two days extra that we had really helped uh, prepare our team and myself uh, mentally. Um, you know, an uh, extra week is uh, is always a plus. And, you know, just like the bye week before Alabama, that week is going to be important for us to really dive into film and and really look at what they're doing and and figure them out. But we're, we're focused on Auburn and, you know, Monday we should get back in the film room, practice and fix all our um, mistakes. And then Tuesday we should be ready to rock and roll. Okay, this will be the uh, last question for TJ. See, I unmuted Marcus. Is Marcus there? Yes. Go ahead, Marcus. Yes, um, TJ, man, great to, uh, great to see that, that you had a great game today. Can you, uh, I think you kind of hit on it, but can you talk about the speed of the game coming from high school and coming in as your first start did, did this game here at home against South Carolina, needing this win, you know, down um, in the standard one and two? You know, can you just talk about the speed of the game and, and the thing that made you calm, you know, um, as the game as the game progressed? Uh, yes, sir. Um, like I mentioned earlier, uh, you know, it's, it's the speed of the game has gotten a little faster. Uh, the hits are a little harder, I'll tell you that. Um, but, you know, our coaches did a great job preparing us for this moment. Uh, all, all quarterbacks in the quarterback room, um, you know, we were very prepared. Me and Max came in as early enrollees. So the two practices we got from spring, you know, allowed us to adjust to the speed of the game quickly. Uh, then we came back um, after quarantine and, and fall camp hit. Um, our defense did a very good job getting us ready for the speed of the game, uh, me and Max. Um, you know, it's just, it's, it's a little faster. But like you said, like I said earlier, football is football. Uh, you know, there's only so many things the defense can do to, to trick you. All right. Thank you, TJ. Congratulations. Thank you. Go Tigers.